long have you been in the workforce? Do you remember the days you were an intern and were you paid anything? So ideally, most interns work without pay, even the minimum stipend to cater for their transport or just an office lunch. This all in the name of building experience. Did you know that there is a global intern strike going on right now? It's basically a call to have institutions and companies better pay their interns for the service that they offer. Uh, look at this poll in Ghana by TV3 Ghana. They asked their viewers, do you think companies should pay their interns? Now, 92% said they should. People have also come out on social media to share their experiences this Ghanaian lady tweets it's difficult to find a job in Accra that's why new graduates would take a job that's paying them just 13 US dollars then sit down and do nothing most firms in Ghana are not even willing to pay them in the first place how much are interns usually compensated well this obviously varies from state to state and company to company but a research in South Africa showed that the average salary for internship is about 263 US dollars a month, pretty close to the country's minimum wage at 233 US dollars a month. But as this article publishes on CNBC puts it, for many young workers, an internship offers their first taste of the real world and many interns take home a very real paycheck of zero US dollars. So we turn to our Biz 100 experts from across the continent. We ask them, how can interns be better paid? And this is what they had to say. For me, the best way to remunerate interns will be to give them very good commission on the tax you assign them for uh, or, the, or the revenue they are able to generate into their business. So, um, interns, especially those who have worked up to six months in the company, and maybe, yeah, up to, they work up to 40 hours every week, I think, aside from paying their salaries and stipends, and the case may be, they should be entitled to company's benefit to a large extent, such as health insurance, um, incentives, maybe some time off work. If it's an internship, let it be an internship and not giving them the responsibilities of somebody with a job title, but also giving them the chance to actually do something and earn a living. Earlier on, I had a chat with Petrita Paul, who is the Youth Advisory Board at the United Nations Human Rights Office of the High Commissioner. And I began by asking her why companies should pay interns. I actually think companies should pay for internships because it's labor, it's a job role. It's a job role like any other opportunity. And you have actually interns who are offering their workforce to actually be able to, com to contribute to the company's growth. What's an appropriate amount for interns, if anything at all? There's no specific appropriate amount uh, for an internship, as long as it's a paid internship. Because ideally, we have a lot of companies with their different policies, per se. Uh, some might uh, pay interns 500 US dollars, but some might not. I've seen you in the front lines of uh, a campaign to pay your interns. Tell us more about this initiative and what you hope to accomplish out of it. So the pay your interns hashtag actually evolved from the fair uh, internship initiative. Uh, part of the global intern strikes for 2022, uh, we are actually calling on French policymakers uh, to actually take into account that it's high time uh, for interns to be paid and not to exploit interns in terms of using their labor force. Uh, most interns don't even get Depend or even a small amount facilitates their passport or meals at the workplaces. So I think the hashtag is uh, it's actually a collective effort where everyone has taken up on board to ensure that interns are paid and their rights are held to account. How can young people take advantage and strategically align their internship periods to be part of their career progression and plans? Young people can uh, align their interns to, internship to their career plans uh, as uh, ideally how best the skills they manage to get in their particular institutions. Because we have these tendencies, and I think I experienced it myself. You become an intern for almost 
for five years and yet you do not uh, have a specific full-time employed job. So I think young people should set a bar for themselves. If an in in internship period does uh, last more than uh, the targeted years, they should actually not accept that and uh, stand on their stand by actually doing an internship with a minimum um, a time frame, either six months or even one year, and look for another possible opportunity to further grow their career.